Hi friends, today I want to show you my maths project which I have done for my school and I think if you see this video then you will get uh, means it, it will be you will get many things which is useful for your project. I, will, I think you, it will be really helpful for you. So I am proceeding my project. As you can see I have used a channel file and a4 pages white a4 pages obviously so in the first page i have written my name class section project and the registration number now if we proceed to the next page we will find that there is the index where i have drawn a chart for serial number topic page number and my topics are preparation of the project and in the section a i have done the concept of limits and for the section b i have done curve tracing by trigonometric functions and at last i have given the inference bibliography and acknowledgement so this is the first page of my project where I have written the preparation of the project. Friends, before starting the main thing, means uh, before starting the section A and section B, I must give some introduction to my project so that it, it as it contains a lot of marks, in our West Bengal board there is 20 marks in project, so I think we must do a project with our project with some feeling with a good feeling that we have to get the marks and we have to uh, make it more and more beautiful compared to the other friends so i have given something uh, basic thing preparation of the project so you can take a screenshot of it if you want if you like my project also so here I have written the introduction and the other points you can see what is project work and the importance of project work. In the second page of my project I have done I have written the uh, importance of the mathematical projects the different steps in preparation of the projects that is selection of the project title of the project objective of the project methodology of the project and then the analysis limitations of the study application of the project inference bibliography question it near so now i am getting my section a started so for a bold look i have given the heading section a and it i have made it bold you can use many other colors also for this but i think on white black suits the most so i have done it full with black now the i have proceeded with the concept of limits you can see so here i have given the introduction regarding the concept of limits only and objective collection of information then we need a analysis of the concept of limits so here you can see i have done a beautiful analysis now proceeding to the next page i have continued that analysis and i have started my limit of a variable you can take screenshot friends So proceeding like this and I'm in I'm right now in page 7 so now we are getting the geometrical idea of a limit of a variable.
the note is very important for a maths project because it uh, explains the teacher by your writing that what and the quality of your knowledge now comes the analytical concept of limit of a function This is the 12th page of my project. Now I have explained the meaning of limit x tends to a fx equal to infinity or limit of fx when x tends to a equal to minus infinity so here you can see i have explained it with example and solution also Now comes the section B and in my section B portion I have curve tracing by trigonometric functions. So let's see what I have done in section B. So the first thing which I have done is that elementary functions definition of it and then I have uh, make a chart of algebraic functions and transcendental fun functions then I have described the constant function and power fu function now comes the polynomials rational functions functions involving radicals and algebraic functions now I have done the graphs which is the main portion of curve tracing so you here I have done this sine graph first that is sine 3x and you can see I have done a chart first, then explaining it, I have explaining it, I have drawn the drawn the graph. Now in the next page, I have given the 3 sin x graph. Similarly, like the previous one, I have done drawn a chart and then I have drawn the graph. You can see the graph if you are having any problem then you can consult rd sharma or r s agarwal or arhan's book arhand i must say the arhan's book is very very helpful for curve tracing so number here it comes the two sin x curve. Similarly, the, like the previous ones, I have done the same type of pattern. Means first I have drawn the chart, then I have drawn the graph, explaining the chart. Now comes the cos x curve, that is cosine. So two cos cos three x. 
यू कैन सी द ग्राफ क्लियरली हाँ वन मोर थिंग दैट इज इफ योर टीचर्स स्कूल टीचर टेल यू टू डू द ग्राफ ऑन द ग्राफ शीट देन डोंट माइंड आई हैव रिटर्न द वैल्यूज यू कैन पुट इट ऑन द ग्राफ पेपर एंड ड्रॉ इट ऑल्सो This is the twenty second page of my project. Here I have drawn the y equal to sin x and y equal to cos x in third bracket zero comma two pi third bracket close on same axis. So for this type of curve, we have we are getting two curves over over the graph. You can see I have I have drawn one with normal line and i have uh, drawn the another graph with dotted line the continuous line represents curve for sin x and the discontinuous line represents the curve for cos x here i have drawn i am in the last page of my project so here i have drawn the inference now i am coming to the bibliography and at last we have drawn i have drawn the acknowledgement so friends thank you for watching my video i hope you like it and please please do subscribe and please click on the like button please i just request you thank you bye